might just get hit with the reek. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them bird like we play for the eagle. I'm on probation, so let me not talk with illegal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. For my teachers that said I won't make it here. I spin it. So been reading on some things and you know there's a few quiet there's a few quiet players out there right now that we're all like, hmm. What's going to happen to these guys? Now, we talk about the receiver position. You're talking about a position where it's pretty much finalized. Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, Mike Wallace. Now you got Matt Collins. Two more spots to be filled. And there are between a few players like Tim Wilson, Rashard Davis, uh, Marcus Wheaton, Shelton Gibson, Bryce Treggs. Um, so there's a few guys out there right now. Um, that are fighting for that roster spot. But there's one guy that can pretty much make it pretty easily. Greg Ward has been on this team the past few seasons. And he's been working hard. He's been playing. He's played outside receiver, slot receiver. He's been playing pretty much both positions. And Greg Ward was a quarterback in college, turned to a wide receiver in the NFL. And he's been working so hard. And I, I really appreciate his work ethic. And the coaches are very optimistic about Greg Ward. Uh, they really are. And I saw Greg Ward even at open practice last year, and he was burning a lot of our guys last year. He, um, he's he been working. He works He works out after practice. He puts in the extra time, the extra, the extra effort, the extra work. He does what he needs to do. And, uh, hey, that could be a guy that fills one of the spots. So Greg Ward ended up getting hurt. He went up for a pass. He landed on his back, but he was fine. Everyone, you know, it took him like about seven, eight minutes to get up. But um, they went in the locker room the next day. They asked him what was going on. He said he was totally fine, nothing wrong. He just, you know, just landed the wrong way. And that was pretty much it. So um, Greg Ward could be that that number, what, the number five spot? Um, you know what I mean? The number four spot and then pretty much go with one more guy. There's a fifth spot open. Um, and... Let's see if Marcus Wheaton can make a push at that position. We'll see if Shelton Gibson can. We'll see if Bryce Treggs, probably not Bryce Treggs, um, but Shelton Gibson, Marcus Wheaton, Rashard Davis, probably not Rashard Davis. Tim Wilson, we'll see. I don't know. Um, but until we get into the preseason, what's going on with that, we'll see what happens. Um, so we go to another position. Isaac Samalo has been very quiet, hasn't been living up to his potential at the 75th overall pick in the 2016 draft. Um, hasn't really been doing too fucking well, has it? He's been, uh, quiet, um, and, um, apparently there's some rumor going around that they could be set, he could be set up for, you know, being in a trade or, um, things could happen, uh, to him because he was brought in to be in that guard position. He was brought to be the center. He plays center and guard, so he could play both positions, okay, but, problem with him is he's never he's seen a lot of the field but I remember before Stefan Wisniewski ended up starting I remember he started for us uh I think it was during the Giants game he started for us and he was getting blown the fuck back Chance Warmack got in a little bit as well um so you know getting Chance Warmack in free agency and getting and drafting Isaac Samalo was two things where they thought hey we could replace a few guys see what we can do um, but never happened. Samalo, I think, is not gonna, even going to – I don't think he was worth drafting now. I don't think he's going to do well. Um, he's, he's been way too quiet. Um, and if the media – I mean, I know the media is saying a lot of bad things, but he's just been very quiet. So I, I don't see him doing too much. You know, hopefully this Matt Pryor that we got that could play – Guard and tackle, um, you know, from TCU. Hopefully we could see what he could do. Um, haven't really heard much from him. Um, just mostly the top-named guys. But Isaac Small has been one of the quietest guys. And, uh, you know, there's really nothing much going on with him. So um, it's going to be a sweet battle. It really is. A lot of competition. Uh, next week it's even going to get better. So I can't wait. Um, so that's all I really got to say to you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Who are, Who's going to take the fourth and fifth receivers, uh, the fifth and sixth receiver spots? Um, two spots open. Who takes it? Mine, I think Marcus Wheaton will take a spot. Oof. And the last one, I, I want to say Shelton Gibson maybe, but I don't know, man. 
Greg Ward is 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 going to take the spot anyway in front of Marcus Wheaton. So I say Greg Ward, Marcus Wheaton. That's probably my two picks uh, for those last two roster spots for the wide receivers. Um, and that's about it, guys. So that's all I got to say. And um, getting ready to go on vacation tomorrow. So I will be putting out some videos for you very soon. So that's all I got to say, guys. So shake squad up. Fly was fly. Thank you for the support. Peace.